Hey everyone, peace and love, Tiara Chardé here. I hope all is well and you're having a fabulous weekend thus far. It is time for the love video for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So this video is for you if your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign is in Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or you're dealing with somebody with these placements, okay? Um, get ready to share this video to your groups, to your friends. It's going to be a really great video, okay? I'm just going to take a moment, let y'all get on in here. Start um, moving things around a bit. Oops, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. Let me turn the light on so you can see me. I have dim lighting here in my living room, so. Hey, peace and love, Teal. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Peace and love, Crystal. Welcome back, love. How you doing? Hey, Reginald. Peace and love. Um, so, uh, there's links, you guys, in the little box, okay? So, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tierra Neo Chardé. I linked the first uh, half of March romance uh, forecast for my water signs. So, that link is in there. Um, the link to my website, so you know something more specific to your um, situation is in there. Also, subscribe so you can watch the Divine Message for the Collective. It's Monday through Friday on YouTube. And every Friday, I give you your weekend edition. So make sure you're um, vibing with that. So these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Make sure you're tapping into your own intuition and guidance moving forward. Okay, you guys? And this energy could be this or um, this could be you or the other person. So take what resonates. Okay, so this is how you view someone or someone views you like this water sign. Okay. Um... I think that is all. Let's just hop right into it, okay? So someone... <sighs> okay, water sign. So, um, how do I begin? Because <laughs> there's a lot going on with my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I love y'all. Some of you guys already know I'm a Libra sun, Pisces moon, and Virgo rising. Um, so that's just my information. So before I spill y'all tea, I'm gonna tell you about me. Okay, so that's my little, my little info. So back to y'all water signs. There is a past life, a past love, an ex, somebody who you've been admiring, somebody who you've been thinking about. They're in your energy fields or you have actively came into contact with this person. And I feel like you have come into contact with them. You're texting, you're calling, you're emailing. There's something like that. Many of you are traveling to this person um, who you're interested in. So this is going to be from March 16th to the 31st, you guys. This could have already happened, is happening. It may not resonate with all of you, and that's okay. Just leave it for somebody else. Um, but this, these are the en energies around my water signs. So you or somebody else could be traveling to you for a love connection. There's something destined and faded about this. And, you know, I uh, everyone's talking about twin flames and soulmates. And, you know, it doesn't matter what you believe in. Just know that on a soul level, you and this person have some sort of connection. You have some sort of chemistry. And it's coming together. It's divinely guided. And it's coming very swiftly. Like, something is going to swiftly change in your romantic life, water sign. What you got going on? Um... This is this is rapid. This is going to happen like now. It, it feels like, okay? Um so there's going to be a big change in your love life. It's going to bring healing to you. Many of you have been disappointed in love. You've had to um deal with things like I I'm seeing like petty situations or arguments even. You've had to deal with that and now you're going to be coming into a situation where things are moving forward. So, hey, welcome, welcome those who just joined in. So, um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, I feel like, um, see, some of you are walking away from a relationship or walking towards a relationship. Now, this could be you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or this could be someone you're dealing with. And they have these water placements and they're walking towards you. There's some element of that. And water sign, you, I think you know. So for some of you who resonate with the part that someone new came into your life, because I do feel like there's some new fresh energy here. For those who resonate with that aspect of it, this person is like, you know that you're connected to this person though. It's like, 
you are aware that you guys have some sort of um some sort of soul tie that there's some sort of soulmate twin flame that this is the person you want to be with or are going to be with there's some element there y'all um and some of you have been trying to avoid it there's the element of that water sign like you've been trying to avoid how you feel about this person or avoiding how um avoiding confronting this person or letting this person know but i feel like there's an end to, there's an end to that there's going to be an end or there was an end to that the an end of you like sitting on the connection stalling it in some way um there's there was an end of that so you guys are moving forward towards that some of you have been thinking about a relationship and you've been um worried about a current relationship worrying about the state of the relationship so if some of you are single this is you worrying that you're gonna have a love interest hey bianca recent uh greetings scorpio sun leo rising aquarius moon yes i love it um so many of you have been worried about a connection if you're single you are worried about love coming in if you're in a current relationship you could be worried about the state of this relationship water sign or somebody is coming into your life and kind of challenging your relationship or you're challenging their relationship or how they feel. There's some element to that. Somebody may be up at night or they may be thinking about it all day. There's an element of that, but it's, it's, it's emotional. There's love here. Some of you water signs, See, some of you who are in a relationship, you've been putting off a connection with somebody else because of that. But I feel like there's something that's going to happen really quickly, water sign. And it's going to make you really happy. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but it's like a brand new opportunity in romance or in love or in a union. Now, if this was a general reading for water signs i would be like okay well this could be a career opportunity this could be blah 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 friendship but this is love water sign so you're gonna have some sort of development that's gonna come in it's gonna be swift somebody's gonna let you know how they feel about you you're gonna let somebody know how you feel about them and you guys are gonna move forward because there is an element of victory there's an element of that um it's like I'm staring into space trying to find it. But there's joy here. Somebody views you as joy, as happiness. You're going to be very happy, water sign. So if some of you are single, this is somebody coming into your life that's going to bring you happiness. And you're going to bring happiness to them. And they're just going to be like, man, like, I do want to say there is an element of a challenge here, water sign. But it's not something that can't be overcome. So I don't know what that challenge represents to you. This could be anything. Maybe you work a lot. Maybe you... That was the first thing that popped in my head. I didn't even think about that. So maybe for some of you, you or your other person works a lot. Um, you guys, distance could be a factor. Because I feel like I, I see the forward movement here. I see the communication, the travel. So distance could play a factor in you or this other person. For some of you who are single, it's really because you haven't met this person that's in your energy field. But somebody is coming in. Somebody is available or around. And they're going to present themselves to you. Um, again, this is the March 16th to the 31st forecast. But I feel like this could really go into April as well. Um, hmm. What else? Um, water signs. So I feel like for some of you who are currently in a relationship, see, there's the element of not fear, not being fearful, but hesitant and rightfully so. You want a new beginning. And I feel like many of you have been dealing with certain things within your relationship that you're not rocking with anymore. And it's literally divine, the divine coming in and be like, nah, we're going to end this right now. We're going to end this right now. Something's going to happen in your life, water sign, when you're going to realize, all right, this is the end of this situation. It's time to dip. Or it's time to leave this person alone and stay in my relationship. There's an element to that too, water sign. 
So if you've been thinking about someone, because we said that before, right, the um, thinking is a factor. Um, if you've been thinking of someone, this is, is you cutting out thinking of them, right? Or um, just just breaking ties with this and being like, nope, I can't do this. I kind of want to rectify my relationship or I want to just stay in my relationship. That's it. But some of you are going to end something for someone else or for something else because it's time and that's deep i didn't want to get so deep into this but i did um post the first half of march for my water signs because cancer scorpio and pisces you guys are deep signs you represent the cups the emotions so your messages are just deep today all right is there it's just deep for the second half of march and um Love is available to you, especially after a period of not feeling love or being disappointed in love. So, for some of you, this could be love of self, which is amazing. I always say that a lot. Um, the love of self is the best love. You want to make sure your cup, speaking of cups and water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, it goes together. Make sure your cup is full and overflowing, and what's overflowing is what you give to other people. Even your children, your grandma, your auntie, I don't care, your baby daddy, your baby mama, whatever you, title you want to assign people, you really need to make sure your cup is full and overflowing before you give of yourself. you got to be happy within yourself to offer that to somebody else, okay? So I feel like the second half of March, my water signs, y'all are going to be doing just that. You're really optimistic about love. You're wanting to move forward. Um, again, there's a soul tie. There's a past life element here, water sign. You could be completing a cycle and going into new love. See, that's exactly what's happening for many of you guys. For many of you. Or this is some how somebody is viewing you. Somebody is going to come into your life where you're going to want a commitment from. They're going to want a, to commit to you. Whether they're single or not. Whether they do it or not. That, you know, that's up to them. That's up to you. But these are just the energies that are around you. Okay, so, you know, I, that's just what I'm tapping into. Um, you guys are grown. I don't know your whole life. You know what I mean? Make your own decisions. There is an element of you tapping into your intuition and inner guidance with this two water sign. So it's like you're not, it's not, you're, you're not lost in the sauce, water sign, the second half of March. Nobody's going to catch you slipping in love. You're not with the okie doke. You're going to be very clear on what you're doing, how you feel about somebody, how you feel about yourself, how you want to move forward. Real, real clarity here. And again, if you're single, this is how you feel within yourself. And that's really powerful. All right, so that is it for my lovely Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Your love and romance video for the second half of March, March 16th to the 31st. Make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube channel, liking the videos, sharing them. Uh, make sure you're scheduling private sessions with me so you know something more specific to your situation. Um, also, um, make sure you're watching the Divine Message for the Collective Monday through Friday. And on every single Friday, we give you your weekend edition, okay? So that is all. I love you guys so much. Peace and love. Mwah.